Hey, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the next episode of Product Management Interview Experience Series. And today I have Arindam with me. He is going to recently join EA Sports. Welcome, Arindam, to the series. Uh, thank you, Sujat. Great. So, Arindam, why don't you get started and introduce yourself to the audience? Sure. Uh, so, first of all, uh, uh, a warm uh, welcome to the audience in the, in the channel. And uh, to start with, uh, uh, based on my academics, uh, I am a mechanical engineer. On my academics, I completed that in 2013. After that, I joined the manufacturing uh, industry. I worked uh, in mechanical domain, but there I uh, got into love with data science and gradually moved uh, to data science field. And I have been in data science and analytics for past six years, six and a half years almost. And uh, currently, I'm I am working in the current my current company is in online gambling and online casino, where I majorly look into the product side of it, like the product features, whichever is going live. I'm trying to understand their impact, trying to understand the player behaviors. And uh, recently, I have, as uh, Sudhir mentioned, I have a clear interview, and uh, I will be joining. Uh, uh, electronic arts as a product manager. Hey, thanks, Arizona. That's a great experience so far. How you pivoted from you know mechanical engineering to a business analyst and now finally to a product role. We wish you very much congratulations. And uh, yeah, let's talk about your entire interview experience, uh, starting from your preparation phase to how you applied for the roles, how you got the call at the call at the or ES Sports and what the entire interview journey looks like. Sure. So, so let me start with. Uh, let's just go back a few months back before when I when I actually think thought of starting uh, with moving to product uh, management uh, as a career choice. So I have uh, been a person who have since I have a mechanical background. I have always loved product designing uh, in three D tools or in app making. So that is something that I have been passionate about. So. Uh, while doing data science uh, work, I realized that a lot of uh, data science stuff that we are doing currently as a data analyst or data scientist in the in the companies, we are basically creating various data products. Now, a dashboard can be a very simple data product, but at the end, it's a data product that goes out. So I, I realized that there is a, a gap in the, or there is an opportunity, I would say, in the market uh, for data products. And when it comes to data products, uh, I thought that we as a data analyst or data scientist can be of great help and can leverage our knowledge of data for these kind of products in the market down the line. And that's where the point I start thinking about transitioning to product management as a whole. And uh, I started my uh, my preparation and as a one of the important part is obviously uh, getting into various forums like, like these channels that uh, you have so that these forums are really helpful. First of all, you, you get to know a lot of understanding, like what are the things that is actually being done? Because uh, as I understood in my journey, that many things we do in our day-to-day -day job that uh, kind of already covers a lot of product management stuff, but we don't know that it's actually in product management because uh, it's about where you have to wear all the hats. Uh, as a product manager, and uh, and uh, that's why it's important that you realize what are those hats you are wearing in your day to day job, and so that's the one step that I took. I, I, I read from all these forums. I did one course uh, where I just tried to understand what are the basic ideas uh, and the, what are the basic ideas of a product uh, management, project management, those areas. Uh, like the UAV of course, there are all these channels are there, all these uh, forums are there, which are where you have uh, lots of popular uh, contents out there. So that, that's what the, that was the one, one phase. And then coming on to the application, once I got uh, comfortable with, with my preparation that, yes, I am uh, kind of in a situation where I know that uh, what is my uh, contribution to the overall product uh, site, I started applying and prepared my resume in that format. And, uh, and I started applying to various product manager uh, management roles. So, so that's, a, I would say, till the preparation phase of it. Got now, it, got uh, it. Yeah. 
so now now if i if i talk about uh, the part where i just applied and i and the, the whole of the interview process so how it happened is basically i was applying to a lot of product management role at that point of time i got a call from electronic arts uh, most likely from from uh, their hr team and uh, they they told that they are interested in my resume and uh, they want to move it forward and so it went ahead and then i had a first round of so it, there was overall around four to five rounds of interviews where um, i had a initial round with uh, the senior uh, the engineering team members like mainly the senior leadership team of the engineering like that and then uh, in the subsequent uh, interviews i had uh, interviews with the product teams uh, like product management teams the, the higher leadership of the product management team and uh, like that so it, it went on i would say gradually and uh, one of the best thing that i faced i would say i really uh, appreciate with the electronic arts interview process was that in all of these uh, interviews that i had five rounds uh, various various perspective of my uh, uh, job role or, or my uh, passion towards product have been kind of questioned or interviewed on it's not something that uh, people are just asking in the same front but it it's been more of a discussion rather than being a uh, just a question which has uh, which is which i really appreciate whenever a uh, interview is happening perfect perfect arinda bang just to summarize for the entire audience i think you mentioned during the preparation phase it's very important to identify that you might be already doing some sort of product roles although your designation is different but yeah you have to take that pause align yourself to the product management role prepare your mm-hmm. resume and uh, then start applying and uh, mm-hmm. about the interview process i think it was almost four to five rounds uh, yeah. when you got a call from hr and the, and it can you tell more about how many uh, what was the duration and how long your total yeah. interview phase went sure so i would say it, it was around four to five weeks so generally what okay. happens every 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 week uh, there would be one interview because if if there is a interview on wednesday uh, might be uh, i would get the feedback on thursday or friday and then i would i would set up another they would ask me for another date in the next week and the next week the bit will be met again on tuesday or on a wednesday so in that way it was around 4 to 5 weeks uh, because the feedback and all those things take time and uh, yeah the senior leadership team sometimes their times are not available because uh, when you're uh, talking with in these kind of interviews you have to uh, the interviews are been taken by a very senior person from say a product management uh, vertical and they don't have a, a lot of time in their uh, schedule so getting those times uh, also makes it it's like it, it, it stretches the week a lot but still it was more crisp than many other places that i have looked into an interview report got it great and uh, can you share some examples of what are the kind of questions that were asked in those four to five rounds so that our audience can also prepare for those kind of questions yeah sure so uh, basically if i talk about first round or the initial round it was more about uh, i was asked about from my current job experience and how i can to relate it with the product management roles uh, like Uh, if it's a data science role which i am a part of uh, how i'm supporting the product teams uh, how that is actually making the impact so those kind of questions uh, also uh, i was asked behavioral question like uh, based on stakeholder management uh, how generally i in my current job i look into the uh, stakeholder management if there are multiple stakeholders and and there are pressure for doing the projects so those kind of questions uh, in the second round uh, i would say uh, a lot of uh, focus was there on a particular key study or i would say i was asked questions uh, on areas that say if i would be given a particular product to design with a limited budget what would be my approach uh, what are the steps that i would follow so those were uh, the particular uh, set of questions that i was asked when uh, it was more in the second round although those stakeholder management or conflict management those kind of areas was definitely there which which is also a part of it but a uh, focus was also there to understand what would be my uh, overall uh, 
vision for uh, designing a product and uh, moving it away from its uh, nascent stage to its maturity stage to its decline stage. So overall, those areas. And uh, in the in the in the final stages, where where I was mainly talking with the leadership teams, uh, there they mainly wanted to know about my strategic uh, vision. So the the question that uh, would came up is definitely that we talk a lot about product roadmaps, right? On our individual roads. Now, how uh, uh, the company's vision of product roadmap that gets aligned with our product, uh, our product vision, or our how do we uh, kind of align with that? So those strategic questions were, uh, I would say, more uh, common in the final rounds where the senior leadership or uh, people people from a higher management would ask you more. Got it. Great. Uh, in the it cannot be more crisp and clear what kind of questions you were asked and candidates can expect in their interview round. Great. And and when you talk about your background, uh, so you were from a business analyst background and and you transitioned to product management role. How important was the resume part of it? Like how? What will be your advice to all the aspiring candidates? What kind of resume should you prepare uh, during the for applying for this product role? Uh, so what what I realized is so essentially I was in data analytics uh, for as I mentioned for past six six and a half years, and when I decided to move into product management role, uh, product management role in India is still unfortunately covers a lot of uh, project management. So so. Whenever the whenever the when we talk about product management in India specifically, uh, the perspective is still about project management a lot. Uh, there are areas where people do talk about KPIs, do, do talk about how do you want to uh, assess the impact, but that's less. So when I was actually trying to shift uh, from a data analytics role to a product management role, that was the area that I need to highlight. So uh, first of all, as as a one thing that was uh, in favor of my role was for past one and a half years, I have been doing a lot of product analysis. I have been working with the product team. I've been supporting the product managers in my company. So I learned a lot and I was a part of many uh, product feature going live, uh, being a data partner or being an insights partner. I, I know what are the things happening in those uh, meetings and those steering meetings and all. So if someone is trying to do that or to shift their career from data science role to the product uh, product management, I would suggest them to align in these kind of ways so that you get a broader perspective about the product, not from this insights or data analyst perspective, but from a project management perspective, from a marketing perspective, all those perspectives, because it's very important to widen your uh, view a lot. And that's what I did. And that's something that I also kind of try to reflect in my resume. I didn't just talk about that I did this analysis and the result was this. I, I talked about that this analysis, how the, it was broken down, how the phase one looked, how the phase two looked. So th those were the, I would say, one of the key areas. Okay, so, so just to summarize, I think the most important part which should be reflecting in your resume is definitely those outcome and impact. And not just that you have worked on that, but Okay, you have worked on it, but what is the outcome that is generating? And, and in forms of some numbers, some matrices, some KRIs, that will have more impact in this, your resume. Right. And uh, our last question, Arindam, how can someone like you or any other candidate get into a product management role at EA? Yeah, so what one thing, uh, yeah, as, as, as I was. Uh, Interviewing, the, I was going through the interviewing process. I realized they are very passionate about the games and about the game development. Uh, so I, I, I was asked a lot of questions on which games I like to play, why I joined, want to join the, the company. Uh, so they are passionate about the game. Uh, like I already had a, a bit of background in gaming because uh, I, I have been uh, working with player behavior in my current company also. But at the same time, uh, I think for anyone who is going. Uh, aspiring to join EA, they need to be passionate about not only, uh, obviously they need to be passionate about games, but also about behaviors, like player behaviors, how that impacts the overall uh, game portfolios, how a particular game impacts a player. So 
those are the important things. They're passionate about player behavior and game behaviors. So I think that's key. And uh, people in here are really passionate about their games and about the creations that are being done. And and uh, while you were applying for the role at EA Arindam, you felt the referral was important, or did you directly apply it, or you got a call from HR? I think. I, how actually, that? I actually didn't. I actually didn't uh, did a referral. Uh, I actually directly applied, and I got a call back. Uh, from okay. there. Yeah. So it was not exactly a referral, but I just uh, I, I think I saw it somewhere in the, some of the job portal. I applied it over there, and I got the call back. Great. I think I think that that's also um, anything says about the company of EA for that they do look at the direct apply applicants as well. So anyone of you, if you are wanting to apply for the roles at EA Esports, uh, feel free to directly apply to their job portals. And and yes, definitely as Arindam mentioned, have some uh, be passionate about the gaming world industry and know more about it. Cool. Uh, Thanks a lot, Arindam. We really appreciate uh, you taking out the time and sharing the experience. And I really hope this will help many of the aspiring candidates to get into a product role at CS4. Before we wind up, uh, Arindam, do you have any last word to say? Any any advice? Anything else you want to bring it bring up here? Uh, the only thing is, uh, I, while I was doing the transition, I, I realized that uh, it's important to be passionate about the product. So it just just uh, not about not about just uh, a role. It's not about just the role of product manager, but being passionate about product, being passionate about user. So so keep that passion up, and uh, definitely you, uh, you will get a chance. You will get an opportunity uh, that that you can make the best upon. Great, I think that's a great piece of advice, Arindam, and we wish you all the best for all your upcoming challenges at ESports. Thank you. Thank you, Arindam. Bye. Yeah.